So actually coming out of the pandemic, you know, 2020, the entire world was in a pandemic. So coming out of the pandemic, I would say 2022 uh, had some remnants of some projects that we could actually live through. Uh, but I'm looking at 2023 as a more positive. There's a lot of projects are being announced in the region, okay, where we're actively involved. So 2022, the projects weren't that live. It was all what backlogs were there. But 2023, the start of 2023 and the end of 2022, we have seen a lot of projects that have been announced and a lot of work happening. And we're actively involved in that. So we see a positive future this year. So CMS, okay, so we are a 40-year-old company that's been around, uh, started in Saudi and in, in GCC. So we manufacture all kinds of HVAC products, so starting from your filters, you know, complete range of filters, the pre-filters, the fine filters, and up to the HEPA filters. Then moving on to the air distribution from the ducting, various kinds of ducts, GI ducts to the fire rated ducts. Uh, we have air distribution systems that's to do with the air outlets, the louvers, and to control the volume of air, we have you know the VAVs, the VCDs, fire dampers. So a complete air distribution uh, and air filtration system we manufacture at CMS. So honestly, that's that's a you know tricky question to ask because most of our products are market driven. Okay. So if you see uh, after the pandemic, okay, there is all, all of a sudden a requirement for indoor air quality awareness has increased. Even though that was a requirement that has been there always, the awareness among the people have increased more on that. So air filters is more popular right now coming out of the pandemic. But otherwise, um, because our products go into the construction field, so all our products are catered to the construction. So as long as construction is happening in the region and it has been happening over the last 20 years plus, okay, so all those products are there. But after the pandemic, I would say air filters is the most uh, best-selling product for us. So coming to, coming to that, so, uh, so filters, okay, uh, before it was just like people just wanted, okay, something that would purify the air, you know, just give me, you know, a box that can actually do that, that's it. Uh, but now uh, people are asking about okay, what's the efficiency of the filter? What is the pressure top of that filter? Okay, what is the dust holding capacity of those filters? So, so we have been developing the product towards that to increase uh, the life cycle of the filter itself rather than having to replace the filter every three months, can we stretch it on to you know, four to five months? So we increased uh, by using specialized medias or you know, increasing the surface area of the filter itself, okay? So we can increase the lifespan of the filter. So we increase the dust holding capacity of each filter. So we have innovated our product towards that, talking about filters. Uh, talking about other products with regards to fire rated duct and other products as well, uh, the market is looking for more sustainable product as well. So, so what we have done is we have tried to come up with newer design of the product that would have lesser uh, weight when they're installing it so they can reduce on the structural loads that they're putting on that. So overall cost of construction could go down if they use these products. Yeah, so sustainability, as I was mentioning, sustainability has been a buzzword that's been going around for over a decade. Okay, but we CMS, in fact, we installed our uh, solar panels in our manufacturing facilities more than 10 years ago. And our complete facility is run, uh, you know, primary source is run by solar panels. Uh, but coming to the product itself, you know, we have uh, understood that, you know, there are these leak points in the ductworks that uh, that would drain the energy of the building. You know, the running cost of the building would increase. So, so we have addressed those, uh, those areas in the ductwork by coming up with flanges that, uh, that prevent these, these leaks, leak points. Okay, these are joints of the ducts itself. But coming to the filters, like I mentioned in the earlier, uh, earlier on, okay, we have come up with these filters that are more energy efficient okay that that have a higher higher life cycle so the replacement cost of these filters itself goes down and what what it allows is the carbon footprint itself goes down why because now imagine you have to dispose these filters okay the cost of disposing it movement of that manufacturing this and again bringing it back to the facility replacing it so the overall carbon footprint has gone down 
if we are coming up with these products. And CMS, we have been on top of it in the last couple of years, especially to be ahead of coming up with these innovative products. So the trends right now I can see is uh, with regards to the fire and safety, okay, the regulations are being more strict, uh, which is in the positive side, okay, with even the local laboratories that are being present here and civil defense being actively involved in rewriting uh, certain standards and certain codes. I think so it's going towards a more international level. So, so the trends are being more stringent, okay, and companies like us have to come up to the international level when it comes to that. So I'm seeing that UAE itself is growing, or in fact the GCC, even Saudi and other regions as well, is growing to an international level and going to make a footprint globally, okay, with the standards they're following. Yes, so CMS always has been uh, in, in uh, expansion mode, I would say. So currently we are operating uh, with direct offices across GCC. We even have an office and warehousing in US as well. So we are exporting uh, globally right now. And we feel that, you know, we want to make, even though the product is made here in UAE, our products are available across the globe. So we would continue to expand uh, with regards to the reach and with regards to the markets, but also with regards to the products. So like I'm saying, even though, it's, even though these products might be similar, but we are coming up with more innovative products that would carry the sustainable aspect and would be more energy efficient. So we are always on that.